Hey everyone, it's Free Friday. So today I'm gonna to talk about taking your voice from just being able to sing out of tune to being able to sing um, with some passion and some power and some sparkle. All right, so I'm gonna start with a little demonstration. And I love this song. I'm a little excited by it. So here we go. I get a good feeling, yeah. Here it is. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no. I'm just gonna tell you right now that I believe, I really do believe that. So there's so much more to that song that is exciting, but I'm not here to sing the song. I'm here to express how um, the three ways that I can sing that part with power. It's the difference between singing normal in tune and pretty. Something's got a hold on me, yeah. Oh, it must be love. Something's got a hold on me right now, child. Oh, it must be love. I'm in tune. Everything's locking in. It sounds good. But there's a little bit extra that was added to make um, this song so awesome. So the first thing that I want to teach you about is activating. So before I start those big vocal lines like the, oh, there is an activation that starts in my tummy. So really what it is, is um, singing goes beyond what comes out of your mouth. There's a lot more involved within your face, but for singing with this type of power, we're gonna be activating it from our stomach. So before I even start the song, I'm gonna breathe in, right? And show you that I've had breakfast this morning, all right? And then before I start, I'm gonna actually flex the muscles in my stomach as if I'm doing a sit-up. So all these muscles now are hard. I'm just starting to do a sit-up, right? So that happens before the actual sound comes out for the first part of the oh! All right, so that's where that power comes from. Um, the second thing that you need to do is continue that resistance. I think the thing that a lot of people fall short with is that they don't continue that resistance all the way through the end of the vocal line. Okay, so for example, um, oh, it's, Something's got a hold on me, yeah. It kind of goes by the end, right? But if you continue to push all the way through, as if you're doing a full sit-up, right? Then you have that strength all the way to the end of that, that vocal line. So, something's got a hold on me, yeah. There's still power there, even as I'm finishing the vocal line. And the stomach was still actively working. Um, and the third thing is we need to connect. So I think a lot of people sing in tune and they sing beautiful, but a lot of times it sounds broken. So these are um, some tricks that I do to connect. I might pretend that I've got um, like taffy in between my fingers and I would pull the taffy, right? So that I'm feeling the resistance. And from the very beginning, like, Something's got a hold of me right now. That part there, if you if you don't feel like it's connected, it'll end up sounding very choppy. Like something's got a hold of me right now, right? So if you do this and feel like it's smooth and connected, something's got a hold of me right now. It's just it's more connected, right? So those are some three tricks that I use if I'm singing songs like this. And um, another trick I'll sneak in at the very end 
is never ever go up and think that singing is going to be easy because you're just singing. It is a full body experience. You need to have energy. Stomach needs to be activated. Eyebrows up, squinting in the face, like all this stuff goes on. I don't, you'll find that if you stand in one place and you sing, it, it, it keeps you in a bubble. But if you just allow yourself to even sway, the full body movement of it will greatly imp improve your vocal tone. So obviously there's more. If you have any questions or any um, things about vocalizing that you'd like for me to address specifically, um, I would love to give that a try. Singing is my favorite thing. Um, but um, this is your free Friday vocal lesson. So I hope that you enjoyed it. All right. Bye everyone.